morning guys today I got a video from you I believe this is from Minnesota uh, from a channel called MN Cop Cam I'm going to put a link to the guy's channel down in the description uh, so you can uh, have a link directly to the channel it's MN Crime is the name of the, the channel I'm sorry I got it wrong anyway this is two sovereign citizens uh, ambushing the police Check this out. This is a very graphic, kind of. In Sabika, Minnesota, Wadena County Police were involved in a deadly shootout. Deputy Mayor was escorting a young female civilian as part of the department's ride-along program. They had no idea that they were about to be ambushed by sovereign citizens. If the officers fell, the killers wouldn't be leaving any witnesses. The incident began with a simple speeding violation, but the suspect, David Savella, refused to pull over. I love the way this guy narrates his videos. It reminds me of that TV show Dragnet with Joe Friday from years and years and years ago. It's very professional, very smooth. He's very good at it. Let's keep watching. Leading Deputy Mayor on a brief chase. He eventually stopped, not to pull over, but to turn around. As his face came into view, he seemed calm, as if the deputy wasn't even there. I just found this video on YouTube about two weeks ago. I thought it was new, but it's from 2021. I just found a news article that I'll, I'll put down in the, in the description. It wasn't until the deputy shined a flashlight on him that he seemed to reevaluate his situation. He put up his hands, as if to surrender, but went right back to turning the car around. You'll see him repeat this behavior throughout the encounter. The officer began issuing verbal commands. Put the vehicle in park and shut it off. I would think by now that uh, this is not going to end up being a good situation. And my question to you is, do you think this officer should have pursued this aggressively having a civilian teenage girl in the car. I don't think that was a wise choice. Maybe he couldn't get out of it. I don't know. I think that was a pretty poor choice for him to continue. He should have called it in and, uh, you know, done something else, I think. I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, armchair figuring out what's going on here. It's just my opinion. Turn off your vehicle. Put it in park. But this only caused the suspect to become argumentative. You stay in your vehicle. Don't stop. Put your vehicle in park. A second vehicle approaches from behind, and Deputy Mayor senses danger. He calls Officer Worm for backup. 41, 24, 46, 20. Can you head out here? I got another vehicle behind me. Stay in your vehicle, sir. 10 4, coming up again at 23. That's when David lost traction with the snow. His vehicle was immobilized, but the second vehicle still posed a potential threat. Deputy Mayor was an 11-year veteran with the Wadena County Sheriff's Office, so he knew not to take such things for granted. I'm telling you to stop. The deputy warned the other driver not to get involved. But they refused to leave. Officer Worm needed to get there fast. The suspect is verbally unintelligible in the video, but the deputy has reason to believe that David is a sovereign citizen. So now we have a second vehicle on the scene that has nothing to do with the traffic stop. And guess who that other person is? It's another sovereign citizen. It's this guy's brother who he's called to have him come and uh, bail him out of this situation. And you can't forget there's a civilian in the police car and that policeman is all by himself right now. An anti-government extremist who believes that even though they physically reside in this country, that they are separate or sovereign from the United States. The officer maintained a calm demeanor throughout the confrontation, hoping that the suspect would calm down. 
At one point, the suspect opened the door, only to close it on the officer and continue berating him. Thankfully, Officer Worm arrived at the scene and could assist Mayer in removing David from the vehicle. From the look of this video and from the sound of it, they're totally ignoring the second guy parked behind the first cop. It, it, it blows my mind that they just ignored that guy. It seems like they should have secured the guy if he wouldn't leave when he was told to leave, but they don't. He got the door open again, this time wedging himself to where the suspect couldn't close it. They finally pulled him out, wrestling him to the ground, but they turned their backs on the second driver, who just so happened to be David's brother, Shannon Savela. When David continued struggling, the deputy deployed a taser. Get your hands behind your back! And that's when Shannon snapped. Stay there! Stand down! Oh, Jesus Christ! Not! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots David pursued the officers with his weapon drawn, but was immediately shot by Officer Worm. He was pronounced at the scene. Shannon's attempt to save his brother was the very thing that lost him. But Shannon was still standing and filled with a vengeful bloodthirst, and both officers had been shot. Ladina 4124, Shots fired! Shots fired! I need medical! Where is he? Where is he, Worm? Even though Mayer was wounded, he attended to Shannon's wounds first. Having experience as a paramedic, Officer Worm was saved by his vest, and Deputy Mayer made a full recovery. But Shannon was later pronounced a hospital, and that was the end for the Savella brothers. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to look up, see if I can find an article on this, the link down in the description to get more details. All I know is what I saw in this video. I, I, I don't, I hate to second guess the police, but I, I don't think this should have gone this way. Uh, in, in any case, the cops are okay, and, uh, you know, the other two guys didn't make it home for dinner that night or any other night after that. And, uh, this is what happens when your mind starts falling for these scams that uh, they promote them all over YouTube. It's totally okay to promote this stuff, even though it gets people uh, unalived all the time. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, in MN Crime is the name of the channel. The link will be in the description. Love you all. Bye.